Hello students, in the previous session we studied about mean deviation, about mean and median for ungrouped data. In this session we shall learn how to calculate mean deviation for group data. Now let us see an example, find the mean deviation about the mean for the following data 6, 7, 10, 12, 13, 4, 8, 12. For the solution, we proceed stepwise and get the following. Step 1, mean of the data is x bar is equal to 6 plus 7 plus 10 plus 12 plus 13 plus 4 plus 8 plus 12 upon 8. That gives us 72 upon 8 that is equal to 9. In the next step, we calculate the deviations of the respective observations from the mean x bar that is x i minus x bar are 6 minus 9, 7 minus 9, 10 minus 9, 12 minus 9, 13 minus 9, 4 minus 9, 8 minus 9 and 12 minus 9 or minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 3, 4, minus 5, minus 1, 3. In step 3, the absolute values of the deviations that is x i minus x bar are 3, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 1, 3. In step 4, the required mean deviation about the mean is mean deviation x bar is equal to summation i ranging from 1 to n absolute value of x i minus x bar upon 8 that is equal to 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3 upon 8 that gives us 22 upon 8 that is equal to 2.75. Instead of carrying out the steps every time, we can carry on calculation stepwise without referring to steps. Let us solve an example, find the mean deviation about the mean for the following data 12, 3, 18, 17, 4, 9, 17, 19, 20, 15, 8, 17, 2, 3, 16, 11, 3, 1, 0, 5. Let us solve this we have to find the mean x bar of the data that is x bar is equal to 1 upon 20 summation i ranging from 1 to 20 x i that is equal to 200 upon 20 that gives us 10. The respective absolute values of the deviations from the mean that is x i minus x bar are 2, 7, 8, 7, 6, 1, 7, 9, 10, 5, 2, 7, 8, 7, 6, 1, 7, 9, 10 and 5. Therefore, summation i ranging from 1 to 20, absolute value of x i minus x bar is equal to 124 and mean deviation x bar is equal to 124 upon 20 that gives us 6.2. Now, let us look at one more example. Find the mean deviation about the median for the following data 3, 9, 5, 3, 12, 10, 18, 4, 7, 19, 21. Here, the number of observations is 11, which is odd. Arranging the data into ascending order, we have 3, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, 18, 19 and 21. Median is equal to 11 plus 1 upon 2 or 6th observation that is equal to 9. The absolute values of the respective deviations from the median that is 
absolute value of x i minus m r 6 6 5 4 2 0 1 3 9 10 12. Therefore, summation i ranging from 1 to 11 absolute value of x i minus m is equal to 58 and mean deviation m is equal to 1 upon 11 summation i ranging from 1 to n x i minus m that is equal to 1 upon 11 into 58. Therefore, mean deviation is equal to 5.27. Now, let us discuss about mean deviation for group data. We know that data can be grouped into two ways. First, discrete frequency distribution. Second, continuous frequency distribution. Let us discuss the method of finding mean deviation for both the types of data. Let us discuss first one, discrete frequency distribution. Let the given data consists of a distinct values x1, x2, xn occurring with frequencies f1, f2, fn respectively. This data can be represented in the tabular form as given here and is also called discrete frequency distribution. x and f values are x1, x2, x3 and so on xn and corresponding frequencies are f1, f2, f3 so on fn. Now, let us see the mean deviation about mean. First of all, we find the mean x bar of the given data by using the formula x bar is equal to summation i ranging from 1 to n x i f i upon summation i ranging from 1 to n f i that is equal to 1 upon n summation i ranging from 1 to n x i f i where summation i ranging from 1 to n x i f i denote the sum of the products of observations x i with their respective frequencies f i and n is equal to summation i ranging from 1 to n f i is the sum of frequencies. Then we find the deviations of the observations x i from the mean x bar and take the absolute values that is absolute value of x i minus x bar for all i's varying from 1 to n. After this, find the mean of the absolute values of the deviations which is the required mean deviation about the mean. Thus, mean deviation x bar is equal to summation i ranging from 1 to n f i into absolute value of x i minus x bar upon summation i ranging from 1 to n f i that is equal to 1 upon n summation i ranging from 1 to n f i into absolute value of x i minus x bar. Now, let us discuss about mean deviation about median. To find mean deviation about median, we find the median of the given discrete frequency distribution. For this, the observations are arranged in ascending order. After this, the cumulative frequencies are obtained. Then, we identify the observation whose cumulative frequency is equal to or just greater than n upon 2, where n is the sum of the frequencies. This value of the observation lies in the middle of the data. Therefore, it is the required median. After finding median, we obtain the mean of the absolute values of the deviations from the median. Thus, mean deviation about median is equal to 1 upon n into summation i ranging from 1 to n f i into absolute value of x i minus m, where n is equal to sum of the frequencies and m is the median. Now, let us see an example here. Find mean deviation about the mean for the following data x 2 5 
5, 6, 8, 10, 12 and frequencies are 2, 8, 10, 7, 8, 5. Look at the solution here. Let us make a table of the given data and append other columns after calculations. We have here Xi's, Fi's and total of Fi's that is n is equal to 40. Product of Fi and Xi here gives 2 into 2 is 4, 5 into 8 is 40, 6 into 10 is 60, 8 into 7 is 56, 10 into 8 is 80 and 12 into 5 is 60. On adding Fi into Xi, we get 300. Now we calculate the absolute value of Xi minus X bar, that is 5.5, 2.5, 1.5, 0 0.5, 2.5, and 4.5 respectively. Now we find out the product of Fi and absolute value of Xi minus X bar. We get here. 2 into 5.5 is 11, 8 into 2.5 is 20, 10 into 1.5 is 15, 7 into 0.5 is 3.5, 8 into 2.5 is 20 and 5 into 4.5 is 22.5. On adding this, we get 92. So, n is equal to summation i ranging from 1 to 6 fi is equal to 40 and summation i ranging from 1 to 6 fi xi is equal to 300. We also have summation i ranging from 1 to 6 fi absolute value of xi minus x bar as 92. Therefore, x bar is equal to 1 upon n summation i ranging from 1 to 6 fi xi is equal to 1 upon 40 into 300 that gives us 7.5 and mean deviation about the mean can be calculated as 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to 6 fi into absolute value of xi minus x bar that is equal to 1 upon 40 into 92. So, mean deviation about the mean is 2.3. Let us look at one more example. Find the mean deviation about the median for the following data xi 369 12, 13, 15, 21, 22. Corresponding FIs are 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5, 4 and 3. Look at the solution now. The given observations are already in ascending order. Adding a row corresponding to cumulative frequencies to the given data, we get cumulative frequencies as 3. Here 3 plus 4 gives us 7, now 7 plus 5 gives us 12, 12 plus 2 gives us 14, 14 plus 4 is 18, 18 plus 5 is 23, 23 plus 4 gives us 27 and 27 plus 3 gives us 30. That means n is equal to 30 which is even. Median is the mean of the 15th and 16th observation. Both of these observations lie in the cumulative frequency 18 for which the corresponding observation is 13. Therefore, median m is equal to 15th observation plus 16th observation upon 2 that is equal to 13 plus 13 upon 2 that is equal to 13. Now, absolute values of the deviations from median that is absolute value of xi minus m are shown in the table. xi minus m absolute values are 10, 7, 4, 1, 0, 2, 8 and 9. fi's are 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5, 4 and 3 respectively. Now, we find the product of fi and absolute value of xi minus m. We get 10 into 3 is 30, 7 into 4 as 28, 4 into 5 as 20, 1 into 2 that is 2, 0 into 4 is 0, 2 into 5 is equal to 10, 8 into 4 is 32 and 9 into 3 is 27. Therefore, we have summation i ranging from 1 to 8 fi is equal to 30 and summation i ranging from 1 to 8 fi into 
absolute value of x i minus m is equal to 149. Therefore, mean deviation about the median is equal to 1 upon n into summation i ranging from 1 to 8 f i into absolute value of x i minus m that is equal to 1 upon 30 into 149 that is equal to 4.97. So, students today you learnt how to calculate mean deviation for group data in case of discrete frequency distribution. In the next session we shall learn how to calculate the same for continuous frequency distribution. Thank you.